It was a very tough team. It wasn't uh, um, a team that I'd ever like to go through again. But I think because I realised in one moment, in a phone call from a brilliant man who's my agent in London, he said, get yourself together, he said. Be positive. He says, we're going to turn this around. We're going to get this boat back in the water. I said, okay, Captain. <laughs> oh, oh, skipper. And, uh, and I went to yoga for a month. And I just got my head around it. And I just thought, you know what? Leave the ego at the door. The ego is the image one has of oneself, which is the dictionary um, quote. Uh, and um, I just did. And it was a huge, almost rites of passage. I read The Alchemist, which was kind of amazing as well. So that was a bit of a, that was kind of an epiphany actually reading the book. There's no real specific, you know, I turned around and there was a white goat. And I went, ooh, you know, it was like full on, like read the, read the, uh, read the book, go home, meditate. I can't meditate because you know, there's 15 million rock bands going on in my head. Led Zeppelin's playing here, Metallica's there. Oh, hold on, there's Pink Floyd. You know, it's not that. I mean, that's what was going on. And, um, so, and then I just thought, you know what? I have to do this because there's no more pretending anymore. I have to stand there. So that was kind of the epiphany. Really was just going to bed early every night, having, you know, stumbled around a yoga room for two hours that day and then um, changing my diet and reading The Alchemist and getting my boat back in the water. Because I knew the way I was going wasn't happening. I think the moment was, this has to change. It was my attitude had to change. That's when I realised I can't keep going the way I'm going, which was in sorrow, you know. You have to be so strong, because life is hard and it's tough. You have to be strong and you have to be willing and you have to be free. You are the one you're waiting for. You are the one that will bring you the answer. You are the one that will love yourself it will be good to yourself. It will give you all the answers that you need if you arrive at yourself. And that's what life's journey is. Do you feel at one with yourself? And that's a lot of hard work sometimes. Because we're out there searching all the time for things. We're buying things and make ourselves feel better. We're running around thinking, oh, if I have that, I have, I have, if I have if I'm this movie, if I sell these amount of records, if so-and-so says I'm cool, then I'm cool. Uh -uh. You're the one that's cool. When you're cool, you're cool. And that's the bottom line. You're the one that needs to know you're cool, you know. And you don't need to shout it from the mountaintop. You just got to be it. Be in it. Be in your unique body, your unique physique, your unique mind, your unique matter, your unique intelligence. Be that. Be proud of it. Celebrate it. Live the life that we're living, which is tough and it's wonderful and it's all those things. But just be. It's classic stuff, but, it's, you know, it's all the stuff that goes with it. It's the exciting stuff and the painful stuff. Just be. The journey is an epiphany. We are an epiphany, you know. Human beings are an epiphany. Get real. Get it together. Live your life.